hi guys good evening um hope you had a nice weekend um last year uh, last year last uh, week we talked about um light volumes and um, in this uh, episode we are going to um, be talking about optimizations how to do um, how to use less lights with the same almost the same um results without um uh, also having uh, this uh, grid like uh, shadow problem we encountered uh, last week and after that we're going to be talking about light projections um which is a very interesting feature of lightwave 5 and i actually forgot to talk to to mention it when we were going through uh, our light panel so let's get right to it um okay let's see here so let me fire up light wave first of all let's see what we can do with less lights trying to have um the same volume in shadows and having you know the same penumbra um, effect without having too much um of um delay when we are doing when we're rendering too many lights okay so let's go um at once to modeler and start um a new uh, a new project so, so let's say i want to have uh, an area light of uh, say here and create rectangle i have four points if this is going to be four lights let's uh, um, subdivide it just once so now we, we are going to to be having uh, nine lights okay nine points equals to nine lights um so um, good morning santi good morning good evening good morning whatever <laughs> um so let's see what we can do we are staying in nine um in, in in the nine light light count and let me just um save this okay webcast episode 18 we have progressed so far so great so i'm gonna be having nine point nine point nine point no wait nine point rectangle so that we know what the um, our form is uh nine point rectangle blah, blah blah enter yes we are clear and now the expected um the expected outcome from from this is going to be a, a, a grid like shadows well, actually let's let's um go through the whole thing you know and do a light swarm yes save that into webcast episode 18 let's see what it will find there save the scene as um a nine point point rect angle area light okay let's see and just to remind me this is from, from light swarm i will be naming it naming it like this okay and our usual requester light name light light type um, let's leave it at point i'm going to four point now and i have nine lights so uh this is a division actually um 100 percent intensity um divided to nine lights is then it's like uh, 9981 uh what i mean it's uh, 12 or something in 11 yeah it's 11.111 something so each light is going to be having um 11 percent intensity so that the, there are some will be having 
100% intensity. Okay, I hope that this is clear. We leave fall off to zero. We we, we don't want to have any uh, fall off uh, for the time being. Lens flare off. I'm taking this as, as well. Shadow casting, of course, we want shadows. Flare dissolve, nothing. Okay. And my scene is done. Um, do I have... Yeah, let's make some more... Um, let, let's create some more um, objects done. Okay, I'm, I want to have a box as ground. Let's see there. Oh, there. Okay, I'm making the box. Q for surfacing it. Ground. Apply. And saving that and say ground there and on layer three I want to be having let's let's make let's have layer two on our on my background with alt and two there and may create some interesting um like let's create pole some poles. Okay, so I will be having a pole, pole here, there, so it will be that tall, there, okay, and then I want to make another pole here, um, sorry, I'm a bit, I, I, had, I had a cold re recently actually, so I, I may be sounding somewhat, you know, Anyway, <laughs> um, so let me make this thing thinner. I want to be it to be eighty millimeter, eighty millimeter. Yes, there perhaps. Let me see if I if I had it thin enough. No, I I don't like it actually. Just let me try that again and go for fifty, fifty. Yeah, it's flu time and COVID too. I mean, I had this, um, I had this, um, you know, dry coughing, you know, Did you, and uh, aside from the fever, I had, I had some, some fever actually. Um, we are naming the surfaces as poles, but now I'm, I'm okay. I want, I, I, I can't, uh, um anyway so saving that as poles poles great and let's go to layout um in layout we are loading our objects load objects objects first is the ground then is the poles okay let's see now what we have well but where is my ground hmm interesting let's see what happens here maybe or i bet it's it's because this polygon is looking to, uh, towards the downwards yeah and it's looking downwards anyway i am saving it again as ground Yes, and I am reloading my object. Ground replace object and just press enter and it will. Yes, and it all, it's also visible on layout. OK, so here is my here are my objects, my lovely objects. Very, very complicated, complex. Now, don't worry, we're, we're going through layouts. Uh, you know basic functions but after um this episode we are going back to modeler and we'll be um mod modeling some very interesting things some very in interesting objects so just stay um tuned okay so under camera trace shadows great great shadows okay now now it's time to bring my light swarm into play. So web there under scenes I have saved 
as light swarm nine point rectangle area light load light as well as seen mm, yes can't find null object let me see now what i can do yeah i can no actually quit let me create ah hold on a minute did it create it itself Ah, that, that's the remedy. So you, you just say no and it's, it creates for its, for its own. So let, let, let me see if, that's, if, if that is true. Yeah, it's true. So again, let me just... Oops, sorry. Let me clear all the, these lights, clear all lights. There, I have the default light. Um... I have only poles. Let me verify that. Okay. Load from scene. Light swarm nine point rectangle area light. Load lights as from scene as well as objects. Yes. And can find all objects selected another. No. Ah, great. So no need to do copy paste. I didn't know that. Hmm, great. Uh, we are renaming it just for the sake of convenience. Lights null. Great. And we are deleting our first default light, clear light, bye-bye. We, we don't need that. And right now we need our lights to be visible so that I will be having, a, you know, I won't be having a rough time to, to visualize where uh, the lights are. Okay, so let's see what these lights can do. Um, let me see, I, I want to have a better, yes. A better view here there let's put it just over there mm -hmm. okay and i want to give a um, somewhat more hold on no sorry move here there double enter and rotate no sorry I can, this is the bank angle it's bank angle there now these now we're going to, to be having a um yeah we're, we're going to be having a much pronounced um uh, shadow grid effect see so this is what we want to remedy actually um mm, by the way let me fix my poles here smooth them a bit and see if yeah this is much better okay so um saving my scene so that i won't lose it there and let's say area light stage one okay also saving my objects and see what's going on here again great now we have agreed a very mm, a, a very um annoying quite some, somewhat annoying uh, shadow problem so what can we do about that we um, in, we want to introduce a step during our uh, light swarm creation that will randomize um, the point positions. So if we go back into Modeler and to our um, to our point object here, okay, so we can very simply um, go to tools and then jitter it j jitter them a bit and um, say like let me take into account the grid the grid says 500 millimeters for each of these things there so let me jitter them on the x axis here uh, about 200 millimeters maybe it's too much but anyway we'll see yeah so this is my randomized yeah maybe it was too much 
So let me do it again, jitter, and say 100 millimeter. Ah, uh, yeah, and then put this into zero, zero. Yeah, that can remedy that. But anyway, let me go with say 20 millimeters and here and 20 millimeters here and do more 50 50 no more or perhaps do a 150 there so yeah that sh that that should be enough okay so we we, we jitter them a bit and now we're saving this uh, night point rectangle jittered jittered and call up our light swarm 3d webcast save it again so 18 scenes and now I have light swarm one point rectangle area light here. I'm going to be adding a J. Okay, so that we know it, it this is the, the, the jittered scene. There. So light swarm light point. We said it was like eleven, yeah. Yes, eleven. These go to eleven. Lens flare zero. Yarla, welcome. Shadow casting. Mm, we are clear. Okay. Great. Now let's go to layout and see what what we what we did. Uh, we have a light snow here. Let's load everything now. Lights, light swarm. The jittered. This is the jittered scene. Load lights. Yes. No. Great, so lights null, and I am going to be saving it as lights null uh, two. And uh, let's um, hold on a minute. I just want to make sure that I will be having lights null two in the same position exactly, so that we will be able to compare. So in motion graph. I am saving the, the motion for light snow. Um, this is a temporary file, so I, I, I don't care much how uh, I'm going to be naming it. So AAA, I have, all, I have all, always a file and in envelopes called AAA. Anyway, yes, cancel changes and then go to light snow, motion graph, load motion. And AAA is already there. And I can see that all 18 objects are there so if i if i move my lights no the the, the the first one oops sorry over lights so if i move the first one yep, there and eventually delete from from the scene oops what happened oh yes again clear all lights anyway um lights null to clear the object and load again sorry for that there yes no and save that again as light snow two and since it is in its default position let me see i want to see them yes light snow two motion graph load motion triple a use motion and it's where my first attempt uh, where the, the the lights during my first attempt were and um, let me see now what i achieved i achieved something but oh uh, yeah I, I forgot the default light it's there clear and see what we do, what we've done there mm. Quite okay. So this it, this is evidence now. That it, it is evident that we our re resolution is not that either our resolution is, uh, the light resolution is not uh, that um, that high. You know, we either need um, um, 
say a larger amount of lights or we have our we have our lights too much spread out so we can affect since we have everything under null object we can um, affect the size so under object size and let me just half approximately half the um, the size so now we'll be having a more far better um far be better uh shadows at least for the for, for the little guy there okay this guy need, needs a, a, a bit more attention also since if we want my area light you know i say okay i will have a fluorescent uh, re you know rectangular lamp at um six meters high or something you know i want it there so then your your um option will be to you know copy paste you know reload the scene and have another um another group of lights you know just to raise the just to um uh, raise the, the resolution so you can do for example as i said just now load from scene load another one load lights yes no and lights no uh, two okay no wait Ah, uh, lights null three. There, yes. And all, of course, uh, load the motion again. Yes. And now, now you have to. If you leave, if you leave the, um, now you run into, you start running into, into problems. So you're gonna be having a light that. It's some is 200 percent uh, the intensity okay so you can um go back you have to go back and raise the you know the amount of light or etc etc okay um but just to see the resolution hold on a minute ah, show all light there just to see the resolution you have the um, I have the halved one and then I have the um, oh, yes and then I have the, the the new one okay so what I wanted what I, I can do is like size this a bit 0.5 no sorry Point, no, man. 0.5 and let's go there no and just move it so that it will be you know to have a, a, a your grid will be will be having a, a, you know double re, the double the resolution so now the big guys shadows are going to be more detailed yeah as we said now you have a much more much um much harder light so we have to 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 to, to decrease our uh, this our um, intensity if we want you know double the lights um another thing we can do if i take this away clear well uh, yes clear descendants of course is uh, we can start moving randomly even more ra randomly the uh, lights okay so let's we can of course resize it to an even uh, less there okay. see the effect of that and when we are you know when we are um, satisfied with, with the result then we, we leave it there okay or we can also uh, we can also uh, tweak each light so that it will be like okay you will be somewhere there somewhere there somewhere there 
are there. Actually, this this looks like resizing to yeah, which is actually the best is the the, the best thing is to resize. Yeah, this looks you know. So we add uh, an an extra step, which is jitter. Okay, we are jittering the, the, the point so that they, they won't be having this um, uh, grid, grid-like shadow effect. Unless this is what we want. For, for example, let, let's say uh, we want to render a, um, a, a football field where you have all these big, you know, uh, big, big lights that, are, that sit actually on, on a grid. So each object is going to be having a um, uh, a very pronounced grid-like shadow uh, on the on the ground. So yeah. Um, so that's about our shadows. Okay. Um, I have a bonus for our patrons, uh, which I did uh, during the. Um, during the oh wait what why why I'm losing my yeah um uh during the the weekend um now i'm getting a bit anyway we'll do it uh, later. um which is i made a solar system so i took all the data from you know wikipedia and all these things so i created a solar system because I wanted to study the volume of shadow that the moon casts on Earth as well as the moon phases. So I took all this data, you know, like uh, I think I pushed light wave five to its limits because at some point the, the grid was so big that I couldn't do much more. So um, I can show you what this is all about. So I have the sun and then you have um, orbits. Anyway, no, it's not here. Um, thing is, I may have to restart my emulator because I lost no, wait a minute. Let me restart Lightwave. There. Because I lost the the the, the mouse cursor inside Lightwave. So, oh yeah, here here it is. So great. Um, let, let's uh, let me go back. So the solar system now this comprises of. Hi, welcome, Volcaro. Um, we are going through um. A real model of the solar system I made for you guys for the patrons and um, now I'm going through the, the hierarchy so in the beginning in the in the center is is uh, the Sun Sol okay um, and then I am parenting light so that um, you will see how all, all this is um, rigged uh, so the next the next object is a null object that holds the lights. Um, and let me let me just center that. Yes. So let me show you all lights. So I think they are. Oh wait. Why don't I have lights? Maybe they are too far. Show light. So where is the light? Where are the lights? Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the sun is too big. No, wait. Come on. So first is the sun. Oh, come on now. Um, nah, yeah, 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 that, that, that is why, because I'm too... 
there there they they are so let me make first let me make these stars disappear so that stars yes there so everything you see here is light uh, is they are lights it's a light swarm um hold on there and the sun is where's the sun there it is so here i don't know man crazy stuff anyway i'll have to manually tell it okay guys here you are anyway here's the here's the sun so it exists but anyway um stop let me center that there he is there he is you know so you you can see all the, all these lights you know um this is a light swarm i've jittered it and i've told the object as you can see here i've um normally every object that gets loaded has these three on these three flags on in in this in the sun's case i have everything off so it doesn't have shadow it doesn't cast shadow and it doesn't receive shadow okay um so under the sun i is the the light snow so yes you have every light there that um go, you know that um emit light to all the other planets so um and then going on i you have i have the, made some stars but anyway then you have the rotation all of the earth on the um, the, the the elliptic plane okay so then you have an earth going around the resolution time wise is i think i've made it into 8760 frames which is 365 days times 24 hours so each frame is an hour passing so in frame 24 there are 24 hours have, having passed so now you have a, year, a full year um, of motion okay and or, or, an orbit um then i created an anti-rotation null because um that's uh, we are going to be talking about motions later but imagine that if you have a parent rotating so it's um it's child it's children will be also rotating but the rotation towards themselves are it's going to be changing all the time so i wanted to i i wanted the rotation to our to to itself you know that the the, the, chi the child to stay um to stay oriented in space instead of instead of staying oriented to its father so instead of doing this i wanted to do this i don't know if you can see it but anyway um i, I we will be talking about such things later um and then you have the tilt uh, earth's tilting um you know you know the axial tilt which is 30 25 23.4 yeah something then you have the orbit no i think that that was an extra it may be that it was needed no 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 it's it was uh, it it um i needed that and there you have the direction you know uh, towards itself so you have 24 uh, frames you have a full ro rotation and then you have earth and then you um, i have um 
I have continued and added the moon's uh, ro rotations and, and orbital uh, in information. So I, I wanted to see what kind of shadows I was going to get. And the results were pretty, pretty good. So I'll show you. Um, I'll show you now. First of all, I'm going to show you the shadows on Earth, which is actually solar ecl eclipses. Okay. Let's see. Now this is a kind of tricky because you have to animate. You have to ray trace the whole animation and then put it in and then you know find which frames are, are of, of interest but i found the uh wait what was that yeah 20 uh, no no 350 now on, th on 350 you have something interesting going on so you have So at 350, yeah, there is um, there's a solar eclipse um, in the, I think this is the Indian Ocean or something. Yeah. So there is an eclipse um, here, you know, to the east of Madagascar, south of India, west of Australia, if my geography is not too rusty anyway and then i found another there's another here 15 1550 there's another eclipse going on this time i think it falls on um, south america if i remember correctly Yeah. No, wait. Yeah. No, no, this is Africa. Hold on. Let me go. Let me go a frame. Yeah, anyway, Atlantic Ocean or something. So you can see that um the penumbra, which is the somewhat shadowy uh, areas are being accurately reproduced so if you feed light wave with correct data you are going to get correct re um, results okay there south africa oh something there okay so that is about that's about um the uh, solar eclipses and now about um, this is very interesting uh, now we can actually you can ray trace the whole uh, moon phase system moon phase phasing system uh, in an animation so now uh, what this animation how this is compiled i have put an, an observer on the um, arctic pole you know and which tracks all the which is tracking um the moon all all the time so the moon is on in in focus the whole time for example 348 now the moon is um is somewhere here okay so going on you can see no here now there's a new moon you know going on so if i go to 480 let's say moon gets going you know even thicker there new moon And, and so on, you know, full moon at some point, and uh, thousand fifty. No, sorry, thousand.
the other side okay so that's an animation i would really like to um to render perhaps i can i will be able to show you ne next time so th this is uh this is uh also you know for for you guys to 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 play around with and um um study it a bit mm, yeah so that's about um the shadows and accurately reproducing them uh, another experiment would be to keep uh, the um, to keep su the sun's lights as they are here and at a distant approximately to earth you know have some and um, make create a scene and see how the light is going to you know to show uh you know on on, on the ground anyway um going away from that from from there uh we load let's load our um object again our ground objects and the poles just to have an example there and let's place our camera to right there so something mm -hmm. there so we have one other thing we haven't discussed about in our lights panel which is the projection image okay this thing this guy here is only apply is only applicable when the light type is set to spot not spoke spot so what does that do mm, i don't know let's find out so as i can see it needs an, it needs an image i know what, what what it does but anyway um so let's go to brilliance and type find something here you know and say okay i want to say Okay, say a word. What 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 should I what should I say? Okay. Amiga rules, of course. There. And uh, let's say I want. I want it here. Okay. Then take it as the take take a brush, brush away all the other things, and right click save volumes and let's say amiga rules there okay so let's see what we can do with that mm. okay now i've set my light to spot let's see what's going on here nothing is going on because it's not aimed properly no lights rotate there oh so there there perhaps a little bit here there so let's see what's going on there so this is my spotlight okay now let me load the image we just made today um webcast and remind ourselves that amiga rules of course we don't have to we know that and what i did what i did just now i loaded it in lightwave in lightwave's memory and then the projection image i selected amiga rules you know and press enter whoa what's going on here so the only light is the Amiga rules uh, logo projected, you know, as the light. Cool. So let me there just there. Nice. So this is kind of up and down. So I might do just that and there wow so 
this is a simple object so this can be mm, hold on a minute there and go up there let's see what's going on there Ah. Anyway. Amiga rules, but it's here. Uh, so I will be doing it towards here. So you can see what is happening here. Okay. So let me. So let me add another object and let me let me name it projector of course there and apply and save that also as well projector there and load it up Love the object, projector, and let me see how the scene is being. Yeah, just what I want, I wanted to, to, to put it somewhere here, and then up a bit. There. And see what I did up with that. Let me enable the light. Just a bit. Can be visible and treat i can treat my light as a projector of course um, so there here and the cone angle can be lowered a bit there let's see what we did yep so if I want to put another light, add light, just to have any reference. So here you have it. Um, the other light can also... Yes, there. So you have a projector. We have a projector, actually. And let's see what other... I mean, how, how good a projector is that? So let me... Let me project something interesting. I have some sequences here. Images, sequences. So these are the sequences for from um, my my im. Ah, there, the Lego. These are the, the the sequences from all all animations that are being played. You know during. Um, during the intro do you know so now i loaded a sequence lego tie fighter sequence and i'm going to light and then i want my light one to have the sequence as its pro projection okay so let's see what, what's going on so now nothing um let me see here how many how many there it's like 500 frames let's go to 500 frames 500 frames and nothing here but let's progress to 86 uh i now have everything ah oh. anyway there's something wrong with the um uh, why 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 oh yeah because they are ham eight Lightweight doesn't like ham8. Um, let me see if if it likes single images, perhaps. No, it doesn't like that. But anyway, you can understand where this can go. You know how powerful this is. Um, load, load. Let me see if I can find a sequence that is no 
everything here is homemade, sorry. Um, maybe the thumbnail for episode 16, perhaps? No? Uh, clear, clear, clear. No, can't load it. There. So you can see here. There. Ah, great. So you can see you have a we, we have a projector. Okay. Um and this is how I bypassed the problem. Uh, regarding the animation that was about um, caustics du during the intro, if you have noticed, oh hold on, let me let me just save that. Actually, I'm in Garus. There, save the scene so that you guys have will be having that. And um, projection lights. Save all objects, yes. So this is how I bypass this problem, you know, uh, because Lightweight 5 doesn't have caustics. So you can't have, um, say, um, say a glass of water having a light casting uh, uh, its rays through the water and then on, on, on the ground where the water sits to have, say, um, focused light rays, as if having a magnifying glass and so on. This is called the caustics, if I'm correct, uh, Santi. Um, Lightwave 5 doesn't have caustics yet. Um, however, in the intro, you might have seen this little animation here um i think this is it yeah so you can see let me so you can see uh this is like um the poles are having illumination from the water but um since this is light with five this can't be done this could not have been done so this, this is actually a hack what i did i used um an underwater texture animation projected by the lights as a projection image sequence on the poles Okay, so this is how uh, it's um, done. So the, um, there is no real computation of caustics there. Okay, so this is how I faked it. And um, this is one of the things that can be done with a, uh, the projection image. Okay. So this, that was it for today. Um... Do you have any questions on that, on all these things? We talked mainly about shadows and how to randomize uh, its, um, its, you know, uh, they, they are, their shadows so that you want it, you, you won't get a grid pattern, you know? Um, we also talked about how I to accurately, you know, replicate the shadows of every day, you know, or you know, even on on a star system. Um, and we also talked about projecting an image as a light on a scene, just as if you were on the on the cinema, and um, the only light, you know, the, the light you were pro projecting from the from the um, uh, cinema you know the film pro pro projector you know it would be pro projected on the um on the on the sheet on the, on the cinema sheet 
Okay, so this is about today. Um, as you, you can see, we went through scene, object, surfaces, images, and lights. Um, we will be stopping there. So uh, on the next during the, the next episode, we are going to go back into Modeler and start modeling stuff um, and doing some uh, much more interesting objects than primitives. We're going also uh, be to be manipulating primitives and creating our own um, simple objects and then going on from there to more complex objects. Okay. Um, thank you, guys. I'm just reading the, the chat right, right now. Thank you um, for all the support. Um, what else? I wanted to say something else. Something. Yeah. Yes. I forgot. I near for, forgot to, to mention the AmigaArtwork.com competition. I mean, do something, even if it is something very, very simple. Send something so that, you know, to enrich the uh, competition and the efforts um, um, uh, the guys, you know, are doing. Okay. Um so this is like amigaartwork.com, okay? Thanks guys, really much appreciated. Um, what else, what else I wanted to say? Maybe I forgot something. Competition, yes. Shadows, yes. Um, we talked about shadows. Maybe next time we'll be talking about the Vorlon. Um, haha. Ha. <laughs> no, no, I won't. I won't be competing. So, just I. I don't have the time. You know, now it's family time. These years, I mean, and it. It's a miracle that uh, you know, uh, they're letting me do the the webcast. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I, what, what I want to say. Um. After some modeling, we are going. We are going to be coming back and um, doing some camera stuff. Um, there's a lot of interesting things happening here. And we are going to be going into some photography as well. Um, with motion blur, with um, depth of field, with, you know, we're going to be trying to recreate uh, effects that we are seeing in the, in the films. Um then on the effects uh, we are going to be using that uh, as well uh, in the, in the um, in the future we're going to be doing some keying some uh, masking chroma keying or something yeah image processing of course yeah we have gone through all of these there are some very interesting plugins here we can uh, use um and yeah but mo it's mostly into our imaginations it, the key here is how to take out what i am thinking into you know layout language or modeling what i'm i, I will be doing so uh the thing everything is into in in the translation you know between my brain how my brain is visualizing something up to the point where i will be able to recreate that on the layer in, into layout so that i will be able to rendering to, to render it and then communicate it to others you know and uh, yeah, it, it can be the definition of, of cre creativity because it's actually a communication between our brain and the outer world. You know? Anyways, I'm, I'm not going to take your, your time anymore. I'm still blah, blah, blah. <laughs> um, again, thank you, guys. Thank you very much. A shout out to um, uh, our patrons, which is George Sokianos Volquero. Present here, Yarla, present here, Midwan, absent, um, GS, and last but not least, again, Anthony Jarvis. 
Thank you again, guys. Let me quit that and get ready for the outro. Great. Okay. Bye bye, guys. Thank you. Cheers. Oh no, what did I do? What did I do?